grow and plant or the seed of growth of integrity. Country, sorry, company by company. And this is where integrity pact stands by promoting integrity, company by company. You can actually expand to industries. And this is the third level. You do a bottom-up, rather than you have government ensure that um, at the top there's a very good environment. Um, so this is where we need to tackle all three levels to make this work. Now in terms of response and contribution and how we're going to be looking at, on the first level, TI has recently developed uh, a research assessment tool. So we're looking at assess whether the government has done enough to regulate company at the national level. Um, we developed a new tool called BICA, B-I-C-A, uh, Business Integrity um, Environment Assessment, basically. So that will come as a, a new report to likely to come up if some of you have developed or uh, have been following TI development. We're going, we are very happy to use Mika in India also to see if the government has regulated companies now. Um, anyone who's interested in this, we can actually speak about it also, how we can actually take this forward in a country like, like here. Now, when we have integrity pact, which um, our colleague will walk you through the report in a minute, it is also important to look at how this would work um, at the end. And I would very much like to invite you all to play a role of architect. I know that we are not trained to be architect, all of us, and we all come back with different background degree in law and business and so on. But one element that makes architect very important is that you need to think about whether this works at the end, whether the integrity pact that we design at this process actually serves the purpose it's meant to be. And if it doesn't work, then we need to think about whether it need to be making some adjustments, making some changes here and there, or whether you want a more substantial change, or whether you need to reinvent. Um, it's important that we know when the tool doesn't work, as well as when it's work, so that we can actually get to the very bottom. And of course, the bottom line, I would say, two key factors to look at whether integrity pact worked in India. Of course, the example of how this has contributed significantly. But in the long run, we have to look at whether there's, firstly, whether there's accountability being put in place to make this. Whether those accountability mechanisms function as it's supposed to be. It's good to hear a lot of uh, experience of concrete change from our colleagues here, um, experience from companies and so on. And at the end, with all of these accountability mechanisms we design to make it work, whether it actually changed behavior of companies, and that's the final impact that we want to see. It's the outcome, not the output, at the end, to speak with some of the international communities' uh, language. So that would be my second message, that we all have to assess whether this works, whether we get to the impact we want to see at the end. But when we look at integrity pack, coming a little bit closer and dig a little bit deeper, it isn't hard to see that the most important element of integrity pack to make this work is the monitoring. And that is my third message. How can we make this work? When company actually sign, I will do ABC. And what's the monitoring whether the company actually has done ABC? How can we support them? Um, on the one hand, we can say hold accountable. The other hand, we also support companies and work in partnership, and not only see companies in negative lights. And the fact that the company sign there might be some other beneficial benefits, but at one point they actually make commitments, and that's a leadership commitment. It's an important step that we can actually build on. Now, when we look at the current function, and of course we have a number of experts in the room to look at how we can to adjust what has worked well and not so well in terms of monitoring. And we look at broadly some of the level of assessment. You can do self-assessment, very basic level. Huh? And you sign up to something, then company can report. I've done this, this, this. 
and then maybe your team look at reviewing. Moving a step further, you can do a peer review, having another company assess another company, and that would be more fun and uh, also build a sense of a community at the same time, learning from each other using peer review. The third and best is the independent review. This is where you do not have inference on the reviewer, basically whether you pick and choose this one is better than that one, I know that person, I feel more comfortable. To have independent basically show that you are open um, to learn, to address some of these, uh, the gaps and weaknesses. We acknowledge all the important steps we have been taking and at the same time address any areas of uh, room for improvement. Um, we also take note that CBC um, has a role to play and that some of the colleagues here from the CBC. Um, we would encourage some of our further development, moving away from volunteerism to professionalism. Um, some of the CBC staff, the monitoring, monitoring team, 140 uh, committed volunteers are very much appreciated to start and be a part of the process. And this is just one element of the monitoring. 